folks, welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I am your host, Derek Schomer, and today we're going to do something simple. Because it's the same day, I think I already put out a video today on uh, vodka. So, this is the deal. I think, what was it? Ivanovich? Um, Curtis, known from the show, has called me just like an hour ago and said he has two Hendrix bags, the bar bags that we gave away a couple, like last month in the Hendrix competition that um, I'm gonna put a picture right here so you can see what the bar bag looks like and I'll just talk over it for a second. So it comes with a bunch of Hendrix gear, uh, all branded Hendrix. It's, it's you know your typical bar gear, quality bar gear with a Hendrix branding on it. Um, and there's gonna be two winners to this contest. Now why am I holding a Parisian shaker? Completely different topic. Um, there's two winners for this contest. So here's the deal. The contest is this. Create a recipe with monkey shoulder, which is a blended single malt scotch, and or a, bl a blend of single malt scotches, and the Lille Blanc or Lille Rouge, either the two. So you've got that that wine, the sweeter wine, the red, the red. I don't know if it's sweet, but you know th those two products. Now, if you don't have monkey shoulder, don't worry. Use I would say either a single malt scotch or Curtis recommended King Street blended if you get that because you want to at least, if you can't get access to all the ingredients, to be able to be in the contest, make it with a the, the other scotches. If you can't get any of those, start with the blended. Come up with some flavors. If you don't win, at least you put in an effort. If you don't, if you don't submit a recipe, you're never going to have a chance to win. So what you're going to do is create a recipe and it needs to be simple. Simple, like things that Curtis can use. Basically, what I think is happening is Curtis needs to expand his monkey shoulder and Lille uh, recipes for events. And that means that if you created a recipe that's top tier, you know, maybe more than just the top two, could be the top ten if we get enough submissions, could be used to help those brands and be able to uh, expand on recipes for clients that those brands are working with. So it's kind of neat to be able to be involved in it at that level. I'm sure there's some marketing involved, but he's basically giving us these two awesome products. I don't know how much the bar bags are worth, probably like 300 bucks, um, because the bag's nice too. And so he's basically going to do all the legwork. You submit the recipes to him. The email address is below. You see it right down here. All right, so you're going to take that email address. It's Curtis email. You can also CC recipe at everydaydrinkers.com if you want us to have a copy of your recipe. Um, and let's see, Blanco or Le Rouge, simple recipe, think like ginger beer, limes, um, alcohols that are easily accessible. If you're in Europe, focus on things that you think you can get in the U.S. Maybe you search for some U.S. online stores, drink up New York, see if the products are available in there that you want to use, or give us some idea of what products we could use. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be just three ingredients, it doesn't have to be perfectly classic. You can use juices. Uh, but the goal is no crazy jumping through hoops, no sage-infused hibiscus syrups and, and jump through here and carve this off of a tree and take this fruit and turn it into a butterfly. Don't get all crazy. Make something that's realistic that if you were to be uh, the Lule or the Monkey Shoulders reps and you wanted to walk into a customer to really highlight the brand, what would you think that they have access to? You don't want everybody to get crazy. You want them to be able to experience these things because Curtis has to buy these ingredients and be able to prep them and use them. Otherwise, there's no point in doing this entire contest. So keep it simple. Plus, simple tend to win, if you've noticed. Let's see. So you get the top two people. Due date. Drop dead. Absolute due date that you cannot possibly, you will not be counted at all if you're submitting after September 2nd at midnight Eastern Time. That's GMT minus five. If you're not good with time zones, then do it a couple days early. That way a rounding error, you'll still be fine. So keep that in mind. Here you're, we're gonna summarize again for those folks. You only have like a week and a couple days to do this. So you want a recipe that has monkey shoulder, and if you can't get it, something blended scotch, single maltish in that realm. Build your cocktail. It must include Lille, Blanc, or Rouge. I don't think you'd be using both. So those are your two things you must have. From there, you get creative. Give it a name. I don't want any submissions that don't have names because it's just going to make Curtis's life harder. So define your cocktail. Name, ingredients. And don't write it in a big paragraph. 
nice line by line. Two ounce this, one ounce this, half ounce this, uh, garnish this, dash this. Recipe name, mix, shake, strain, whatever it is. Use ice, crushed ice, whatever. Put that in the recipe, send it to the email address to Curtis, CC me so I get it. Those top two, to motivate you, because I know people do contests because they want to see it on the show, your top two recipes will be featured on Common Man Cocktails. Maybe some other ones will as too if Curtis comes back to me and says, you know what, those two are winners, but this one was also really good. You should totally do this. I will do it. So there, I think I covered all the, I wrote all this stuff down like on the fly. Check out Facebook.com slash Cocktail TV because I already wrote it there. So if you're a friend or a fan of our show on Facebook, you've already got this and you started. That's why you should be a fan on Facebook. Um, so you can get all the details there if you don't want to read them in the description or in the overlays and all the crap around me. So that's it, folks. Now you've got two videos in one day. Not too bad. Also, just to mention, because I was holding this because these also came in today, for awesomedrakes.com, I had some folks looking for something bit me. Looking for Parisian shakers, French shakers, two-piece shakers. I have them on Awesome Drinks now. They're brushed steel. Uh, they're pretty neat. So you'll notice it's got a curve to it. This is, and I tested this. This curve is to stop the, the pieces from completely freezing together when you shake with, you know, if you're using a collar shaker and you shake it, you can't get that damn thing apart. This one, because it has those bends, it keeps the metal metal away from each other. So as it expands and tightens, and it does get freaking cold, I tried it, um, you can you could do a little spin, shake, and it pops off, which you can't really get them off with a three-piece unless you run it under hot water or get one that has a rubber gasket around it, too. That would work, like the capsule shakers that we sell. So I don't remember who it was, but there were a few people suggesting that we carry these. They're in. There, we're done. You got a contest. You've got some cool Parisian shakers and awesome drinks. You still need a strainer, by the way. Um, that's good. All right, we're teaching you how to drink and get to creating some kick-ass cocktails, yo. Later.